Well, anyway, I'm going back to the PCs, which is something I really despise because I think that my mic skills are better on PC than on Mac because I don't feel like I'm talking to myself since there's that mic that's present and I know that this is all an illusion and that I'm actually just speaking to a third person that's vicarious. But other than that, I kind of feel awkward because of that weird ambient noise that comes out from the recording which is mostly due to my computer's loud noises that it makes as soon as it's on. Yeah, I ended a sentence of a proposition, bitch. But regardless, I'm going to proceed to talk about whatever the hell is it that I wanted to talk about. And depending on which video I'm about to record, the next audio clip's going to correspond to that. Now at the moment we live in an era of statism. There's states at every continent, at every nation, well not every nation, but there's states almost everywhere. It's an overwhelmingly high disproportionate amount of states and a very low amount of stateless societies. So what would happen if the stateless societies were to take the dominance and states were to become the minority what would happen to those states because we wouldn't know what would happen to the stateless societies they would be in a pretty good position and there'd be less aggregate violence however um, you gotta question what's going to happen to those states that remain now, I've posed a few theories that some people might question, but I think seem valid to me. And one of these theories is that these states that will remain are the ones that happen to be very high in population. These are going to be cities, since states can naturally form through cities, and it probably have to be as convenient as possible, as voluntary as possible. And they definitely have to play by the rules, because these states aren't going to be at the dominance anymore, so they don't want to enact any violences, start any wars, because they'll get their asses kicked. Because it's pretty easy to destroy a city. Just like, take down the subway system, then the sewer system and then um, actually start from sewer system then subway system uh, and then you might deal with the roads that interconnect to the stateless societies and then that city will easily be fucked up and best of all you could damage the internet in that area where all those things are being run and that will really fuck up shit but you also gotta get, have a lot of good um, usage of troops and things of that nature so it's all strategical but the thing is that because everything in the city is a little bit centralized it just naturally works that way it'll be easy to deal with them if they step out of line Especially if you're dealing with other stateless societies that were concerned about this one. But those states are going to function in a minarchy, most definitely. Because they'll have to learn how to behave if they don't want other stateless societies to be paranoid and try to do something about them. And that'd be very unfavorable. All in all, the stateless societies that will remain um, are going to be the ones that will take dominance. So it's going to be mostly stateless societies if there's an era of anti-statism. And the states that are going to remain are the cities. And they'll have to learn how to behave. They'll have to learn how to act in the markets. Because otherwise, they're fucked. That's pretty much it. Yeah, minarchism.